Okay, we're going to try once again to measure the frequency on this uh, B and K frequency response. We right now have a 1.000 hertz input from our generator, and we are on the uh, 0.5 uh, seconds per division. So it's going to take two divisions for one full cycle. And if we watch very carefully, now, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So it takes two divisions for every cycle. It's not a very precise measurement because everything is very hard to see. It's very quick and, and not, a, not a clean trace. So we're going to kick up our, our response a little bit here. We still have 1.00 hertz. And... Uh, we should now take five divisions, so we should take one whole side here to make a cycle. So let's see if we can catch it right. Yep, it just landed down and came down in one full cycle. Let's see if we can catch it again. Yep, there was one full cycle again. All right, let's uh, go to point one second. Per division that means we should have 10, 10 divisions of sweep and I think if we watch we'll see that there was one just below so there was another again hard to see but it's there let's go ahead to um, Tell you what, let's turn up our frequency at this point. Let's go up a decade. Are anybody going to argue with me on that? That's 10.01 seconds per per cycle, 10 cycles, 10.01 cycles per second. Let's get that right. Okay, and um, at this point, we should be seeing one full cycle per division, and I think we kind of are, but it, you know, again, it's difficult to see something that's moving this quickly. So let's expand it. Now we are at uh, 50 milliseconds per division. That means it's going to take two divisions for a cycle. This we should be able to begin to easily see. So we're right on the line here. We peak out, come down, peak out, and come up again in two cycles. It's exactly what we expected to see. If we go to 20 milliseconds per division, it should take uh, five divisions for a full sweep. So if I align my left side with the grid here, I should see one full cycle, and five divisions, and we do. Let's go to 10 milliseconds per division, and at this point, we should see that it takes... ten of the divisions to make one full sweep and it does okay now we're ready to keep all right we are now uh, reading a hundred Hertz hundred point zero in a fraction we are coming in at uh, five milliseconds per division at a hundred Hertz and right now we are seeing a full cycle in two divisions so if we have a, a full cycle in two divisions, that's a cycle in 10 milliseconds, which means you have 100 hertz. And that's exactly what we have. So two milliseconds per division, and um, we are running five divisions for a cycle. You see two peaks across the screen. That's, uh, that's important. And one millisecond per division, and we're with 100 hertz. You're going to see 10 divisions, and we do. Okay, so our time base is accurate to here. Let's kick up our frequency again.
All right, we got a thousand hertz with a little fraction of a tenth of a hertz or so. And uh, right now we are on uh, one millisecond per division. And at 1,000 hertz, we should see 10 peaks across the screen. If we were to count them, we should see 10 cycles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We start the 11th off the screen. Okay, if we go to 0.5, uh, we are going to have um, 5 across the screen, and it's going to take... Um, uh, It's going to take two divisions for a cycle. So here's two divisions for every cycle, no problem. And uh, now we're going to take five divisions for a cycle at 0.2 milliseconds per division. And it is exactly that. And at 0.1 millisecond per division, it takes us 10 divisions to get across the screen. And that's to be expected as well. All right, so we're accurate uh, time base wise at this point. If we go up to 50, it'll be hard to see. So we need to kick up our frequency again. Ten point zero zero one, ten point zero one kilohertz. All right. Now, at point one milliseconds per division, we're going to sweep one cycle every division, and we do one cycle in every division. Now we would have one cycle in two divisions on the. 50 microsecond per division. That's uh, lined up there. Okay. Takes exactly two divisions. Good. 20 microseconds per division. It takes exactly five divisions for a cycle. 10 microseconds per division. We take 10 divisions to get across the screen. Okay, we are ready for the next step. All right, we have a 100,000 hertz signal coming in now. And that 100,000 hertz signal on our 10 microsecond per division setting gives us one cycle per division. As we can see here, we are getting one cycle per division. I'm going to kill the overhead light. Sorry. Make it easier for you to see. Eliminate the divisions there. And then let's go ahead and step up here in our range setting. We are at uh, five microseconds per division. It now takes two divisions, one, two, one, two, for each cycle. This is two microseconds per division, and as you can see, it takes one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, five uh, divisions per cycle. Okay. And then we are at one microsecond per division. Get ourselves centered there, and we see that it takes the full 10 divisions to get one cycle across the screen. Okay. Okay, we are now running uh, from a different generator. We are running from this PTS frequency synthesizer. And we are able to get crystal controlled frequencies. Uh, right now we are running uh, a, a thousand kilohertz, so that's one megahertz uh, with an extremely small error, 0 0.0001 or something. Um, 
we are at the one microsecond per division so uh, what we are seeing is that uh, if I adjust this so we cross the yeah we see one cycle in every division exactly So, one cycle in every division, that means that we have one mega cycle coming in, which would be correct. If I go to 0.5 um, microseconds per division, then we're going to take two divisions for that cycle. So here's the negative and then the positive in two division. There's one cycle in two divisions, one megahertz. But right now, oops, that is the end of our range, and then we go into the XY position, which we'll have to demonstrate later. Um, I can go backwards here just for fun. Let's uh, and then we'll step up to two mega cycles: three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mega cycles per division. Oops, nine. There we are at 10. And if I pull my times 5 magnification, I can increase the intensity again for you. And then if this is correct, then we should be, once again, even though we are running 10 megacycles, I should be able to see um, that I have one cycle per division at this point. And there we go. Starting right here at the line. Positive peak, negative peak, and then one cycle. We end on the line again. So, we are at the fastest sweep time, 0.5 uh, microseconds per division. Uh, but we are at times 5 on our uh, magnification. So we've measured our time base uh, accuracy across all of the ranges and it, uh, it came in beautifully um, our, for every frequency of sweep. We were able to determine exactly uh, on the right number of divisions what we expected to see. So at this point, uh, the, the time base is common for both channels. There really isn't any sense in change, you know, switching to the other channel to check the time base. You'd just be checking the same thing again. But um, what we will do is to uh, do a frequency response check. This unit is a uh, 15 megahertz scope, and um, uh, its 3 dB point would be... Um, at the 15 megahertz frequency. So we're going to see if at that frequency we are within 3 dB of, uh, of our uh, zero point. And we'll give that, a, we'll set this up and give that a check in a moment. All right, we right now have a one megahertz signal from the PTS generator feeding the scope. We are reading the, uh, the signal right now on uh, 0.5 microseconds per division, so it takes two divisions for a cycle. Down, up, there's two divisions for one cycle. We have it uh, calibrated so that we are uh, zeroed in the middle and we are getting the positive peak four divisions up, negative peak four divisions down. This is at one megahertz. So now, Let's see what happens when we go to 15 megahertz. There's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 megahertz. 15 megahertz to an extreme accuracy. I can pull the times five magnification button, and uh, we should be able actually to observe that 
that we see one and a half cycles per division. So here's one, and then a half, and one division. So one and a half and one division. It does it beautifully. If you can see this, I hope so. Kill the elimination a little bit. All right. Um, but the main thing is we came down in, in voltage on both ends. We were we came down one whole uh, division. If I go back again, you can watch it go back up. Four, three, two, one, zero. That's 10 megahertz. And there is one megahertz. All right, so let's see. Okay. Our formula is 20 times the log of... Uh, three quarters in this case because we have uh, we had four divisions to begin with and we came down to three so we're three quarters of the full scale amount the log of three quarters times 20 we wind up with a negative 2.498 or 2.5 so we're down a negative 2.5 decibels uh, DB uh, at 15 megahertz. So in reality we are within our specification and we could have went a little bit further in frequency before we actually hit that 3 dB point. Just for fun let's find out what the uh, 3 dB point really would be frequency wise. Um, 3 dB, you'd be down 3 decibels if you hit 2.8 divisions out of this uh, 4 division scale. So here's there's 15 megahertz. Once again we are uh, 1 division down. I'm going to call that 17 megahertz. We hit 2.8 2.8 divisions at 17 megahertz. So you got a couple of megahertz over that 15 for your spec, but very good. Okay, we're going to do a uh, frequency response check of channel B. We've done a channel A already and, and had excellent response, 3 dB at about 17 megahertz. Um, Right now we're measuring the one megacycle input from the PTS generator. We've got it adjusted for four uh, plus and minus four divisions. And uh, we're going to go ahead now and step up. This would be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Looks to me like yeah, about 18, maybe 18 and a half um, mega cycles. That we get our 3 dB point. So we're just a little bit better on channel B than we are on channel A by about a mega cycle and a half. Um, so we're in good shape, uh, we're within our specs, and uh, we're going to move on.